Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching a Metropolitan Report short. I'm your host of the Metropolitan Report, Alfred Parsar Jr., and I host a podcast that talks about any and everything New York Mets. This weekend, the New York Mets have been bit by the injury bug, uh, especially in the starting pitching rotation and in the bullpen. Uh, bad news for Kodai Senga. Kodai Senga uh, scratched from his last scheduled spring training start. Of course, he made that first start uh, last week against the Cardinals. Uh, pulled it in his scheduled start against the Astros this weekend due to tendonitis in his right index finger. Um, he's not on the injured list. It's not anything that's seen as too severe. Uh, however, there he's day to day. There's not really much of a timetable of when he when he will be back. But the expectation is that he will be back in time uh, for the season to start. Uh, here's what Buck Showalter had to say surrounding uh, Kodai Senga's injury with the tendonitis in his right index finger. Uh, just do it, getting some imaging um, that we're dealing with, you know, probably during the season he would have pitched, but don't need to. Just want to make sure that we got arms around it and it's had a little discomfort there um, last few days and just didn't think it was a good idea to pitch when we don't have to. So if it were in the regular season, um, this would be something that Sango would attempt to pitch through. Again, uh, not really... Uh, something to be up in arms about or nothing to be cautious about. But with Kodai Senga, you never know because he did admit that he did have some struggles adjusting to the steepness of the pitching mound. He did have uh, a little bit of a struggle um, between the closeness of the plate and the mound. Again, he does come from Japan. He's pitched his whole career in Japan where he's used to shorter distances and smaller indoor stadiums. So it remains to be seen if if an injury like this uh, will mix with what he's used to and what he's not used to as compared to Japan and America. And should he struggle or succeed remains to be seen. We've only had a small sample size of Kodai Senga. He only had that one spring start, two innings where he only gave up a run, but more remains to be seen in the event that he does miss time with Jose Quintana already uh, on the injured list. This opens up more opportunities for David Peterson and Tyler McGill, two pitchers who we talked about on the last two editions of the Metropolitan Report. Uh, we'll be keeping a close eye on how they produce in the spring. And I get it. Spring training numbers are not really anything to uh, put on a baseball card or rank a guy by. But these two now have two open slots. We could see them in the starting rotation alongside uh, Max Scherzer, Justin Verlander, and Carlos Carrasco. Also bit by the injury br bug is Brooks Raley. Of course, Brooks Raley, the former Tampa Bay Ray, acquired in the offseason by the New York Mets. Uh, he has left hamstring tightness. Now, for those of you who have been following the Mets or this program, uh, you'll know that Brooks Raley was uh, scheduled to be a part of the World Baseball Classic in the Team USA bullpen. He has since been removed from Team USA. He'll be replaced by former Met and current Los Angeles Angel Aaron Loop. Uh, the last time we saw Brooks Raley, it was in an exhibition game. Uh, where Team USA uh, went up against the Los Angeles Angels, ironically, uh, where he threw one scoreless inning. Um, it was over uh, the last couple of days he expressed uh, uh, tightness in his leg. They later uh, found it was uh, in the hamstring. It's, a, it's considered a low-grade left hamstring uh, injury. Uh, that injury typically sidelines a pitcher for about three to four weeks, so call it a month. The thing with that is opening day is three to four weeks from now. So it remains to be seen if he'll need to rehab this injury at all, if he just needs rest. Um, his availability to make the opening day roster right out of camp is a bit concerning only because of the timetable that it takes to recover from an injury like this, plus the amount of time between now and spring training. The other source of concern is that Brooks Raley, as things stand now, is the only left-handed pitcher that was expected to make this Mets roster in the bullpen. Uh, but, however, if you're going by stats and the numbers on the back of a guy's baseball card, even though he's a righty, David Robertson could fill the role that Brooks Raley would have had as he's kept opponents historically throughout his career to a below 500 OPS uh, when facing left-handed batters. So, or right-handed batters, excuse me. So, I mean, no, no real cause for concern here. Uh, again, this has been a Metropolitan Report short. My name is Alfred Parsar Jr. 
Uh, again, the Metropolitan Report is part of the Grid Network, which you can follow on Instagram and Twitter at the underscore grid, spelled G-R-Y-D network. And of course, you can find the Metropolitan Report at the underscore Metropolitan underscore report. Until next time, I'll see you guys.